This is Matrix Lord 212 and I'm back doing comic book reviews. And here we go. I'm reviewing Captain Marvel number one. Um, which, you know what? I've seen people talk about the first issue comic, their reviews, besides me reading it myself. And I've come to the conclusion that a lot of people are feeding into the whole Brie Larson in the news and the whole thing about Captain Marvel and the negativity and everything. As a comic book fan, um, I read comics all the time. So I see the aspect of the hero in the comics compared to the movie aspect, compared to the actress aspect, compared to, you know, the political sense. And I got to tell you, I don't think they're trying to do an SJW thing. I don't think that they're trying to force this on our heads. It, it's pleasant. It's regular. It's, you know, she has all these powers. She's been through hell, you know, and she fights off an alien armada. And she has to meet up with these kids. They get a question uh, to ask. It's Carol Danvers Day, right? Because they're celebrating the life of her. So they ask her one question. If she can go back in time, what advice she would give to her younger self? And the answer is she wouldn't really tell her anything. Only thing she would tell her is that, you know, everything she dreamed of will come true, which, you know, you have a thing where the character has traveled through time. So she's afraid of the implications of time travel and altering the past. So she did become Captain Marvel. That's the whole point. You know, everything that she went through, her tragedy, everything, it led her to be Captain Marvel. So why would you alter that? Why would you give any advice to yourself to do something that will make that not happen? So that is not an SJW answer. That's not a political answer. It's, you know, sort of like, you know, what we go through in our life, you know, you know, sometimes we have to go through horrible, horrible stuff um, to get to where we're at now, you know, and, and if we didn't go through those horrible things, maybe we wouldn't have accomplished certain things. So, I can relate to the character, I can relate to the book, and I do love it. So I'm glad I decided to take a chance and pick up Captain Marvel number one. And I'm going to be review reviewing two, three, and four um, sometime this week or next week. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye for now.